got mail. Jacob, where have you been? I don't know if you have noticed, but the boss is not happy with you and the late work you recently turned in. He made a huge scene and called your work lackadaisical. Translation, you're good as fired. Fortunately, I put some strings and got you a gig. And if you mess up again, it will be your last. So hey, please try your best. The directions are in the attachment below. Good luck. Abby. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Jacob. My name is Agnes Jones. I know who you are. You're that reporter sent by your secretary, Abby. Come on in. You must be cold. You'll give me just a second so I can see you better. Okay, welcome to my home. As you can see, I work as a home decorator and a housewife. This property has been in my family for more than seven generations. And if you follow me, I can show you to the backyard. We have about 10 acres of property. Most of it is just, but there's a lake about a mile out. And if you want to take a seat so that we can formally conduct this interview. So even though I love this house, I'll be the last of my family to own it. Uh, why is that? Because I have no children. Oh, so you live here with a partner? Yeah, I sure do. He's in the backyard. Actually, you can see him from right here if you look. Oh wow, uh, how convenient. <laughs> he might be dead, but he still keeps me company. No, seriously, how dare you come into my house and dirty my floors and not even tell me you were beginning the interview? Sorry. Call me Miss Jones! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know what came over me. How about we just go on with the interview? Come sit and have some lemonade with me. Sorry if I offend you, Ms. Jones. Nonsense, it's quite alright. Call me Agnes, you fool. Uh, so how did you meet your husband? That's my husband right there. He was the police chief of our small town, but he recently passed away. His family wanted to bury him in their own family plot, but I fought really hard and got him buried in our backyard. So now he's with me all the time. Who's this? That's serendipity. She's my only child now. Oh, so you had children before? Just one, a boy. He passed away three days after I brought him home from the hospital. Oh, how I cried. I was so sad. I loved that little boy. Oh, sorry to hear that. It must have been hard on you. It's okay, though. I decided to cremate the body, and I had my dog eat the ashes. Yeah, my husband wasn't too happy about it, but it's okay, because now my baby boy, he lives to my dog, so I can have the best of him. Good God! You're a disgrace to my household! Get out of here!
Hello, Agnes? I left my shoes in here. Hey, what's up? I got your message. Sorry I didn't pick up earlier. So how's it going? Did you get the scoop? Yeah, I got the scoop.